What is up lovely people? It's Jake Nathaniel Fit. I'm going to be discussing how you can stay fit and healthy whilst traveling in other countries. But before we get into today's topic, we're going to go to the gym at the Palladium here in Prague. We're going to get that testosterone barking, man. We're going to hit a nice push pump, get the tits going, shoulders showing. Let's get it. We're like in turn. Yeah, it's in the same time. Go True dedication. True dedication. Four, he forgot to get his push-ups in this morning. Form, this Sierra, juicy. where did you learn to count? He's at 14. 15. True grind. 48. True grind. 30. 31. 32. 32. 33. Yeah. I can do 200. 200 usually. It's legit. We need to test doctor on them, motherfucker. Time to check the pump. You know, my initial plan was to go play outside after, after I got done with the gym, but you know, as you can see, the weather got pretty gross. And here's the thing, they said, you know, Oh, come to Prague, the weather's going to be lovely. But, I guess not. Uh, it's time for church. I'm finally back home, so let's get into today's topic. How to stay in shape whilst traveling. Now, since y'all probably don't know, I actually started getting into lifting and working out while I was traveling. And believe me, you can get in above average shape while you're traveling, even though there are a lot of naysayers out there that would claim otherwise. For me, there's really three things I do to keep in shape while I'm traveling. The first thing is gonna be finding a gym wherever I'm going. Now, there is just no excuse for me to skip the gym when I have a day on. There's 168 hours in a week, and all you need is six hours for fitness, so I just see no excuse in skipping the gym when it's time to go to the gym, even if I am on vacation 
or I am traveling for work or something else. Most countries will have gyms readily available, believe it or not, unless you're in a very rural setting. Like Peru is a really good example, unless you're in Cusco or Lima or some other bigger city where they will most definitely have a gym. The second thing to stay in shape while you're traveling is gonna be eating a proper diet. Now don't get me wrong, I love trying the local cuisine wherever I go, but this is trying the local cuisine. But again, I stick to my diet and I eat an 80-20 diet, especially while I'm traveling. 80% healthy foods that fit into my diet, 20% of the food I consume while I'm traveling, maybe not as good for me. And for whoever is viewing this, I recommend doing the same thing so you can enjoy the leisures of having a variety of new foods at your hands while you're traveling. Now I know this might be a very obvious one to do, but getting your steps in. You're in a new place, you're in a far off land, or you may just be in the bordering country from you. I can't imagine why people would be sedentary if they're in a completely new location and there's things to see. One of the many benefits that you get while walking and traveling, it burns calories and it's free. So get your steps in. The last thing I do while I'm traveling to stay in shape is intermittent fasting. Now when I eat in a specific window, I start at about 3 p.m. in the afternoon and stop eating at about 7 o'clock. This gives my body a lot of time to digest early on in the morning and digest before I go to sleep. And trust me, you will be sharper mentally all day long while you're intermittent fasting. Now, it may not work for everybody, but for you folks out there that are wanting to try intermittent fasting, I highly recommend it. Those are just four of many things you can do to stay in great shape while you're out and about in the world. Speaking of traveling, I have something very exciting planned out for next week. And when I mean exciting, it is very exciting. Isn't that right, Quaid? That's right. So, we will be traveling somewhere very interesting very cool. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't hesitate to subscribe. But more importantly, happy St. Patrick's Day. And you folks have a lovely day. And hopefully, I'll see you next week.